Hi, I'm Kaberg and this is my channel. Welcome. I'm almost 30 years old and I'm still playing video games. And in this video we're gonna talk about one uh, famous streamer, actually, playing on mouse and key. And I'm just gonna analyze his gameplay. And in this video you will uh, hear my thoughts, hear my opinion on uh, this gameplay. Um, because I like to watch the gameplay of uh, other people like in two years we caught like more than 50 cheaters uh europeans uh, americans uh, italians a lot of italians because i'm in italy but this video is in english because we are talking about internationally so i'm gonna make more uh, videos in english of course uh, i'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can upload some of the clips or some of the videos so we're gonna talk about that during the lives or during some of the videos that I will make on the channel that I usually call cheatbusters. We are watching some clips, maybe some of them are sus, some of them are not, but usually it's not because people are not good at busting a cheater. I'm using my experience to share with you my experience, my thoughts or how the game works, how the mechanics of the game works, how the players are and what is strange and what is not and what is normal and what is not normal. So have a seat and watch the video. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some gameplay of uh, him playing on the Robert Island the first days that uh, Robert came out. Um, so this compilation, the first compilation, we will have like three or four compilations. This one is from a uh, live stream uh, from one hour and a half that uh, pre lobby in the menu time so this one's like one hour so let's see some of the fights you just look at the fights without my commenting okay and then i will return to you and i will comment some of the uh, clips that i need to tell you something about those fights okay so this one is not like a compilation of sauce clips this one is just fights just his play style game style so you get known with how he plays in words.
Pues se va a la güey. Claro, es que se ven, si ven Podríamos comprar la cara, ¿no? Bueno, bueno. Ahí me voy a ir, me voy a ir. Hoy como que hay algo que se en el audio, ¿no? Porque ya no escucho tanto los pasos. Okay, so as you can see, this player is pretty high skilled player with the mouse and keyboard. As you can see from the clips, he's very high accuracy even in those kind of fights, very close range fights. Okay, when you have like a disadvantage playing with the mouse and keyboard because you cannot track always and be always so precise, just tracking people like one meter from you because you cannot predict every movement that uh, enemy makes okay so uh, you need time to react to the enemy's moving so sometimes happens that you predict the enemy's movement but then he changes the direction and you need to correct your aim so you cannot be so precise during uh, your matches because i'm playing mouse and keyboard myself a lot of years so you cannot be so precise in the close range fights it's very tough to not miss any close fights okay so let's see some of the some of the fights that i would like to comment in this compilation here okay in some of the clips this is tough to notice but there is like moments and uh, some frames when the aim and the crosshair is going at the same speed at the same time and makes like the same tracking as the enemy here okay so this is normal speed i will show you frame by frame and maybe you will notice this one thing that is very similar to aim assist the rotation aim assist okay so this is zero zero six speed okay so here when the enemy is sliding we will have some frames that is moving at the same speed as the enemy here okay it's like it's like a micro mini lock okay but 
that's only the beginning. Let's let's continue. Just rewatch it at a normal speed. Maybe you will notice it again. Okay, so this fight is very interesting because, as we can know, he has a high sense. For me, it's too hard to make fights like this in a close range because you will lose the track of the enemy. Okay, like in this moment, it's very hard to predict what will happen next. The enemy moves at the right, okay? And then we're just tracking him behind us while he's jumping twice. This one is happening almost always uh, with the aim assist, okay? And we cannot have an aim assist on mouse and keyboard, of course. And the next one, we will move straight to the next one because there's one more enemy rushing these stairs as the first one. Okay, so even here, we are like locking our visual on the on the top body but from mouse and keyboard with this high sense it's i guess it's hard to do a kill like that to lock on on the on the body of the enemy okay. let's see this clip here we can notice that as soon as the second enemy is crossing in front of our crosshair if we slow down this one you will see that as soon as the second enemy is here, this enemy here, as soon as he crosses our crosshair in the middle, as we shoot to this enemy, our aim is getting unlocked. Okay? The, the aim of this player that is shooting is getting unlocked as soon as this player passes in front of us and as soon as this guy get knocked. Okay, let's see this in slow motion, you will see maybe. Okay, so this is almost frame by frame. Notice that when we lock this guy, okay, we just shoot at him. As soon as the second player passes in front of us, our aim is just getting like um, a kick, I would say. Okay, it's like we're losing the aim. It's like something happens to our aim. Let's do it faster, maybe. Okay, it's just like unlocks. It happens when you have an aim assist, usually. But you cannot have those kinds of movements on mouse and keyboard. This one is not normal. At this speed, with this high sense, when, when the enemy passes in front of us and this happens, that's very strange to, to see, I would say. As you could notice, this player is pinging almost always. Slightly after the ping, he is always almost perfectly accurate. Okay, in the upper body. Even in the fights like, like these kinds of fights, okay? Very hard to track like the guy. Not impossible. I didn't say that's impossible. That's hard. That's hard to uh, repeat this kind of the fights over and over and not losing a fight like this. It's very hard to be precise and accurate with the high sense. But in this case, he always pings the enemy and slightly after the, the ping, he is always super accurate on the enemy. These kinds of fights in close range with the mouse and keyboard are very hard to win because you cannot predict, you need to see the guy, you need to have time to react of how the enemy moves in front of you. And of course, you need to track him. Okay, but in this case, like it's most like we don't have any difficulty to track a guy like this when he jumps on us and uh, just jumps backwards and we just perfectly track him on the upper body as always in these fights okay it's very hard to track the guys on upper body as they move on mouse and keyboard and this one is very hard to predict the enemy is very hard to predict because he jumps backwards and we still a perfect track on him okay with this high sense at this distance for me for mouse and keyboard player this one is very hard to predict very hard to have a reaction time on this and very hard to track of course the guy that uh, jumps backwards on us we cannot predict that kind of moment in this game so in this clip you can see that he jumps backwards the enemy is jumping too so we have an enemy in front of us we're shooting pretty 
lower body okay and that's not normal that's natural like uh, a lot of players from mouse and keyboard even if you are one of the best you, you still shoot like sometimes at the lower body okay uh, but this guy manages to readjust the aim when he misses readjust the aim on the top part of the body to just lock in on the enemy and just kill the enemy easily okay so the problem here as i see is like the correction is always right and the correction is always like sticky i would say also of course there's a lot of fights when you have a very sticky aim like in this case with me shooting with the ram at the enemy as a comment here in this clip i would say like this one is a very sticky aim okay let's see in a slow motion this one let's see here frame by frame how he shoots the enemy and how we get top of the body and then we just like we're just perfectly tracking the body like as you can see the aim is moving as soon as the body moves you see that this is a normal speed this is tough to do stuff like that very tough to do in this fight we will see like a perfect tracking and the perfect prediction of the enemy of course because uh, you need to predict that he will jump in that side at the, the same moment it happens a lot of times of course with the aim assist because we have a rotational aim assist okay so this one is another compilation of april 1st so we have an even that we have a super jump that we have a super speed so these kind of moments are pretty unpredictable in this game because we are not we're not ready for some of the stuff or some of the speeds some of kind of movements because we are not playing the finals or apex we're playing call of duty but in this day with this event call of duty is not call of duty anymore it's just like super jump and super speed but so let's see some of the clips in that day this this one is from the same the same day i i need to repeat myself this is not like uh cherry picking uh, the clips from one month or one uh, one week okay? okay the first completion that you saw was in one hour and a half fights this one is like in the same day so the next compilation after this one we will see like three games in a row with 90 percent of his gunfire
In this clip, for example, uh, we will see in a slow motion that you can see a few shots that we shoot at the enemy at the lower body, okay, the foot of the, the player, okay, and then we just auto-correct or we, we correct to the upper body in this case. So I think in this kind of the fight, you're not trying to auto-correct on the top body, you're just shooting at the enemy because you're shooting him anyway pretty well. With, with this kind of uh, high sensitivity, I think you should just try to continue to shoot at the enemy, not to correct at the, the top, the neck of, uh, of the enemy. Okay, let's see in the normal speed. Okay, so this is the fight. So at this speed, I don't think that anyone would and could correct to the top body. Okay, at the normal speed, we, we don't even see that. But in this slow motion, we could see that uh, the, um, the aim is uh, correcting from the lower body to the top body and we stay in the top body uh, till we, we get the enemy knock. Some of the fights here are very unusual. For example, this one. Uh, I don't know why this happens that he auto-corrects like uh, in the middle of the fight the aim from the lower body to the top body, as you can see. Like uh, the sync twice and you're just getting uh, the headshots here even. Because we, we can see the hit mark of the headshots. But it's very unusual to auto-correct the aim here. And just be precise with that, okay? You can try to correct the aim. Of course, you're always trying to correct the aim with the motion keyboard. But to be this, this precise, it's like uh, very high accuracy in the game, I would say. And this simple fight... I would say there's nothing strange, but if you play with the, with an aim assist, okay, because it almost happens like every time like you shoot in this kind of fights that you your uh, your aim is getting locked, but then when you knock the player, you get it, like your aim getting a bit of uh, off the enemy because you, your lock is not on the enemy anymore because there's no target to aim on to lock on, okay. So I don't know why this happens on the mouse and keyboard of this player because he's losing game while he while he um, knocks the guy. Okay, so that that happens a lot of the time. So we will see in the uh, in the other um, examples. Okay, so in this fight, this fight is very unusual, of course, because it's a super jump. The enemy is flying, we are flying, uh, we are shooting the enemy pretty good now. But what happens from this moment on, that the player here manages to correct to the top body, to the neck and top body, okay, part. So this one is pretty tough to do, this pretty hard to do. And as you can see in this moment, I would say that uh, almost every motion keyboard player would just stick to this aim and just uh, shoot because you're shooting fine. Like, uh, it's very hard to 
try to correct to the neck here or the head or something like that. You're just sh shooting uh, the guy like this because we are flying down, we are dropping down, the enemy is dropping down, so we just take the aim like this and we just fly uh, down and we just track him. Okay, but uh, this player manages to correct to the neck, even in this case of the fight. Okay, as we can see. Slightly after we get the ping interface, if you see that, a few, few frames of the ping interface. So he's pinging the enemy, he presses the button to ping, and slightly after the ping, we have the correction on the top body, on the neck, on the top body. You see the ping menu? Okay, so he presses the button, and then we have a perfect correction in the top body, in the neck as we fly, as we drop. Okay, so this one is very good tracking. Uh, very unusual pattern to track the enemy like this because we don't have situations like this uh, every game, every fight. So it's very unusual to be ready to track a guy like this because our brain and our uh, reaction time needs to react to the, to the enemy moving unpredictably, okay? Why this fight is unpredictable? Because, as we can see, the enemy jumped like from this spot, okay? So the enemy jumped like this and he's flying like this, okay? Or maybe I would say like this, like oval, okay? And the enemy is moving to the, this side. So, as we move to the left side in the midair, and the enemy is moving to the right side in the midair. So we saw where is the spot that he jumped. Okay. We will try to, our brain will try to track him, like to do this kind of a track. Okay. But in this case, what happens that the enemy, the enemy starts dropping like this here. The enemy is not going there. The enemy is dropping here, very near to this spot. Okay. But still, this player manages to predict that thing and track him like this without missing a shot or even without going to the right of the enemy and then now to correct him to the enemy, okay? So we don't have the correction in this case. We just have the perfect lock on the enemy. Okay, so we're tracking like this. We start to shoot him here and instead of just continue tracking to this side, then correct to the enemy because he dropped down. We just have the perfect tracking on the enemy while we are flying, while he's moving to the right and we're moving to the left, okay? See this. Okay. So in this case, we see the enemy jumping from there. We see the enemy jumping. In this frame, I would guess that our brain would say that the enemy will drop here somewhere, okay? But this player manages to just perfectly track him without missing like a track of the enemy, even after jumping the second time. Okay, I think I think this is perfect moment to see him tracking um, the target in Kovac. So actually him shooting at the Kovac, uh, that this is the game to train your aim, to warm up your aim. So we will see him doing that before this kind of matches that we saw. Uh, we will just distract a bit on Kovac for two minutes and then we will return to the clips that we saw before and then I will uh, show you another compilation of the clips, okay? But now, imagine uh, a number of accuracy, a percentage of accuracy that we saw before of him shooting. It's like, I would say from my opinion, it's like 85, 80% of accuracy of him shooting and those kind of fights that are very unpredictable with the uh, with the tracking of the enemy and predictable movement, okay? Let's see him now in a Kovac, one minute of a Kovac. Him before those streams in the morning, just warming up, just uh, training. And let's see him if he actually tracks like this, like in the game, like he does in the game. I would uh, add the details that uh, this game is easier track because the enemy is fully red with a white uh, background uh, you're not moving you don't have a visual recoil you have no recoil of the weapon so it's very easy to track okay it's easier to track here and cover than in the game 
but as we can see those patterns that we saw of him tracking the game are not the same that we see here like we're seeing accuracy 55 56 percent and this is high like for a for a top player from a top top mouse and keyboard player like this kind of a tracking is a high skill tracking okay also what we are seeing we are seeing like horizontal correction with of course uh low accuracy but we are not seeing a vertical corrections that we see L look at this kind okay and this is normal this is natural for a top player because you need time to react you have a reaction time like 150 uh, maybe 100 milliseconds maybe 80 when you are full focus but still 80 milliseconds you need to react of the enemy moving okay so in this case we see a pretty good horizontal but not vertical correction okay how is this possible that the same player that is playing a game that is even easier to track he's not auto correcting his aim always on the top body on the neck how is this possible that in the game we see so much clips of this kind and so much fights of this kind we're not finished with the clips i would just i just uh, interrupted the the clips that we saw to just um, giving attention to this part of the player okay that he tracks this is high skilled tracking but it's not the same it's like like another player bro playing the warzone right so this is high accuracy this is a good accuracy for this kind of a tracking but in the game we see a lot more like a lot more accuracy and a lot more speed and less reaction time human reaction time in the game like in this case like this guy should be like uh, after we saw the clips from warzone in this case he should auto correct in the jump here as he usually does in the game but not in kovac why is though i don't think i ever saw a fight like this a tracking like this because the enemy is moving like very randomly left right uh, backwards uh, like in all different directions and we still manage to have a sticky aim i would say here like this could happen with the aim assist okay like this kind of a movement could happen with the aim assist but i don't think that mouse and keyboard player with this high sense could manage to predict to get that kind of a sticky aim in this case of a fight okay this is very close fight and we still managed to hit every shot and we managed to predict to every movement to the enemy without any reaction time in this clip his aim is pretty sticky and flicky and still we predict the enemy moving at this speed there are some uh, situations when we have the enemy running in front of us or jumping in front of us as we uh, shooting another enemy for example this fight here we have an enemy that jumps and vaults in front of us and we have this kind of movement of the aim i don't know why this happens though L like how can you make two circles with the with your mouse as the enemy is jumping in front of you like this movement is not usual yeah, this movement of your aim is not usual i would say and slightly after that fight we have this fight of course that's the same team and we have a perfect tracking of the top body upper body of the enemy uh, that happens when we play with the gamepad i would say and the strange thing is here like slightly after we knock the guy we knock the enemy we have like a flick game on the top okay so the last compilation is a bit longer that's three games in a row 
of him doing 30 bombs, 46 and uh, 56. Uh, you will see 90% uh, of his fights in this compilation. This is a long compilation, but you need to see that without my commenting. I will return at the end to comment some of the some of the clips and we will see some of them on the slow motion. But yeah, this is not a cherry picking here. This is like three games in a row that he makes 30, 46 and 56 bombs in a row. So just watch the fights and see how he shoots and in different situations. If you are a mouse and keyboard player, you will like understand what should happen in some of the some of the fights. That's very uh, hard to control in the close range fights, okay? So, let's see.
I would like to comment some of the clips. Uh, this one is one of many. And uh, what we can see here is like a little uh, lock on when he shoots two or three shots with a pistol. Okay. So we're just locking our visual, like rotation nemesis is locking on the enemy for two or three shots perfectly, frame by frame. Okay, here. And then as soon as we knock the guy, our aim is getting on the right. We just miss it. I found the only moment I would say that our player is not shooting at the top body of the enemy that he perfectly sees. Uh, this is this moment. But there's a small detail in this clip. Okay, he's not shooting at this enemy on the top. Why? Because we are shooting at the second guy that is behind this guy. So that's the only, uh, I would say, moment when we are in the close fights and we are, are not locking at the top body of the enemy. But in this case, because we have another enemy here and we are locking the enemy behind this enemy. So that's the only, I would say, situation when our player is not locked in on the enemy in front of us. Why? Because we have the aim perfectly on the top body of the, the second player and we're moving left to the right as the player behind this guy in front of us is moving at the left and the right, if you see. One more detail that we saw previously a lot of times is the correction from the low body, lower body to the top body slightly after the ping, okay, the live ping. So. He sees the enemy like this, okay, he shoots, now he just pings the enemy, he shoots at the, at the lower body, and then we just correct to the top body, and we just knock the guy out, shooting the neck, upper body, okay? So that happens a lot of times, slightly after the knock, uh, sorry, slightly after the life ping, we have a instant knock because we just lock the guy out. If he has the lock on the enemy, if he has the life ping on the enemy, so he, he just presses the button in the middle of the fight to ping the enemy, of course. Um, he just corrects to the top button and we just knock the guy out. Also, another uh, detail that a lot of uh, fights, we have this kind of uh, tremor, trembling after we kill the guy. Okay, so we have a good lock on the enemy here, but as soon as we kill the guy or as soon as we knock the guy, we have that tremor of our aim. We are losing aim. We're just our aim is going off. Okay, so imagine in this case, this is normal to have the aim a bit going on the right in this case because the enemy is moving from the left to our right. Okay, so naturally your aim would finish like continue going on the right and then may maybe enemy is stopping here but you need time to react so you will go like 
let me let me show you like this okay so here is the enemy moving from here moving here okay so we don't know where he will stop okay maybe he will continue to move maybe he will he will strafe like this maybe he will go down drop shot maybe he will jump after the slide so we need time to react okay but imagine in this case the enemies keep moving there so the enemy is here we are moving our aim the enemy stopped so we are going like here we have a reaction time that the enemy stopped so we need to return to the to the enemy and he keeps shooting him okay so that that's what naturally happens that that's what we saw on him playing Kovac, okay? So he's just readjusting the aim after the enemy changed the position. We're just readjusting and we have a reaction time. We have that space that is reaction times like 80, uh, from 80 milliseconds to 120 maybe. It may, it may vary. Uh, you can check that on, um, on the site, human benchmark. You can check that your reaction time, but uh it will be much higher than your action time during the game because you're just not full focused during the game of course so uh, this is normal if we have the aim going on the right here this is natural okay the problem is that this happens after we kill the guy that shouldn't happen because if we know that the guy would stop and we will could, could kill him will kill him we just need to stop our aim but our aim is going like on the right after we kill the guy and we have that trembling of the aim it's like we're stressed out or our aim is going off okay and that happens a lot after we kill the guy and after we knock the guys out so in this clip uh, there's another uh, detail that we saw before of course uh, the, our strange details uh, are repeating themselves and that's okay that's what we need to see um, this kind of fight this kind of attacking it's very unusual because uh, the enemy is parachuting okay so we are seeing here uh, the things that we see here is like missing shots at the start but as soon as we live ping the guy slightly after the ping so uh, slightly after we pressed some button of course uh, we have that locked on on the enemy and then we have uh, aim trembling aim tremor after we knock the guy so we have like two or three details here uh, and of course the perfect tracking also the perfect tracking on the um, next enemy that will just run by here okay so we just knock him down okay but let's focus on this one i will slow this down and we will see some some of strange things here okay so this is slow down okay we're missing some shots at the start we're missing our aim i would say okay then we readjust a bit we life ping the guy and then we have this our aim is moving perfectly frame by frame as the enemy is moving and we're locking at the neck at the top body but also we have the the hit marker the headshot the the neck okay so we're just perfectly tracking him now and as soon as we knock the guy we just have this aim tremor going left and right okay so we're just losing the enemy and now on the knocked guy knocked down guy that is like it's like in the same position i would say we are missing some shots our aim is natural like our aim is like uh moving slowly moving natural like uh like it should be okay frame by frame if you see that our aim is moving like recoil of the weapon is moving visual recoil is moving everything is moving okay but when we lock the guy that was parachuting we have this not moving weapon i would say weapon and aim is moving at the same speed at the same frame as the enemy goes okay here you see that couple of the frames as soon as we get that life ping on slightly after that like 50 milliseconds maybe maybe 70 milliseconds something like that we have the lock on the uh, 
um, on the neck, upper body, and we just track on the enemy. But as soon as we knock him down, we have that trouble of the aim. There's an interesting detail in this clip. Um, what happens here, that is normal for a gamepad player, for a rotational aim assist, that you're tracking your uh, visual, I would say, is tracking the enemy perfectly as the enemy moves, okay? So that's normal for uh, for a rotational aim assist. But that is, this is not happening on mouse and key. Uh, because it's very unpredictable and very hard to tell of, of what speed the enemy will move, okay? But here we are predicting we are perfectly frame by frame predicting how the enemy moves, where the enemy will stop, and uh, what's the direction of the enemy. Okay, so the speed, the direction, and the distance. It's very may maybe hard to see on the on the slow motion, but on the normal speed, it's like you can see that there's something unusual with the how our camera moves. It's too perfect to the enemy. It's moving too perfect with how enemy moves. How the enemy is doing that angle. Okay. So this one is pretty normal with the, with the gamepad if you play with the pad. Okay. But this is not happening on mouse and key. Okay. So the, this clip is pretty funny to show, but I will because I need to comment that. I need to, I need to give you my opinion on that. Okay. So as you saw, uh, from uh, the clips that you saw before, our player manages to correct his aim from uh, lower body to top, uh, top body, upper body, neck, while the enemy is flying, dropping down, while we are flying, dropping down, while we are moving to different directions, uh, unpredictable directions, different speed, okay? But in this clip, he's not managing to flick the mine from the body, that he wanted to flick the mine, he misses the mine, he readjusts his aim, and then he readjusts again. So how how is this possible? That you can readjust his, your aim from uh, lower body to neck in midair, and you're missing a mine like this. So it was like enemy was here, our aim was here, and we just wanted to flick the mine. Okay, so we need to flick the mine, we need to shoot at the mine, okay? But how is this possible that we go here, then readjust here, then readjust here, and then we shoot the mine? Why do we need so many corrections on a not lockable uh, target? And he wanted to lock, I mean, to flick that mine. This mine is pretty big, like, I think it's bigger than the human neck or a uh, human, uh, uh, of course, head. Uh, but how is this possible that not in a lockable target, we are not having that aim that we should have with this high accuracy? And of course, this one is natural. This is pretty natural to correct your aim twice or three times uh, during the fight, um, as we saw on Kovac him play so this one is pretty natural this this happens with the high sensi sensitivity this is normal but why this is not happening while we are flicking an enemy or readjusting it the the aim on the upper body i don't know the same happens uh, slightly after of course in the same game you can see the code of the match in the lower left side okay the same happens here when we just perfectly track him Track the enemy here, as you can see, it's like pretty high accuracy, I would say, okay? It's like the enemy is unpredictably moving to the right and left, okay? But as soon as we knock the guy, we miss one, two, three, four, five, six. We miss a lot of tracking of the guy that is just knocked down, okay? So here we have a high accuracy on the enemy... I would say moving left, right, left, backwards, okay, dropping down, so pretty high accuracy, but as soon as we knock the guy, 
We're just shooting normally. We have no aim on the on the body that is dropping down. This clip is pretty interesting because we can see a mechanical movement of the aim in this case. Because the enemy is in front of us, we're seeing him perfectly. So the only thing you need is just to track him as always, just to lock him as always, or just to shoot at the upper body as always, right? But in this case, enemy from this situation here vaults so he jumps the enemy jumps and the animations in this game are pretty fast on the vaulting on jumping on uh, things so his body is like changing the the position of the body in two frames slightly okay so like this uh, but what happens here it's like we have the perfect uh, frame movement of the aim as the enemy jumps to vault okay so let's see this clip in a very slow motion so you will see that frame by frame and we will see that uh, the, the aim is moving as the enemy starts to move or jumps on the top of course we're not locking the upper body that that would would be insane that would be like aimbot of course but uh, the fact that uh, still, our aim manages to move to that speed, like one frame, two frames, to the left as soon as the enemy moves to the left. That's pretty insane. So, okay, slow motion, frame by frame, as soon as the enemy goes to the left, our aim goes... Tuck. Okay, that's the same two frames. As soon as the enemy jumps, our aim is going left like slightly faster than previously let's see this clip again pretty interesting because the enemies are dropping from the top but still we managed to move our visual at the same speed as the enemy drops down and then we just go in and we just knock the guy uh, shooting fire, I would say and uh, the important thing is that we are managing to life ping this guy okay so we are we are holding some button we are pressing some button to ping the enemy okay so we are uh managing to ping this guy life ping and we managed to just perfectly track him with our uh if fire and of course if you watch the clips the kills that we saw before that i show you before like one by one um, there's no big cuts here, there, uh, like, um, there's no cherry picking of the clips here, just like, this compilation is three games in a row, okay? So, uh, if you go and watch some of the clips in a slow motion or just simply some of the clips like a normal speed, you will notice like, after the, slightly after the, the knock, we will have this tremor of the aim and it's slightly uh slightly at the same speed at the same frame i would say the same frame as the, the enemy goes down okay so that happens a lot of times this is happening always with the uh, aim assist or something else on the aim maybe aim lock or something like that i don't know i don't know if he's using something okay i'm just showing you and I'm just trying to comment that the things that I see as a top player from mouse and keyboard. Now I will show you later on the comparison with other top mouse and keyboard players in this game. And you will see uh, some details, okay? But this thing happens when we uh, lock the guy and then after the guy dies or he's getting knocked, the aim is uh, trembling when we have something else okay when this happens a lot of times of course maybe this happens like a casualty like a casual thing uh, during the match of course but when we have a lot of uh, moments like this this is something external this is like uh, aim assist uh, when the end the aim assist um, doesn't have the target to lock on anymore so it gives you your natural aim or this happens when you have an aim lock okay Previously, we caught, uh, for example, a cheater that had an aim lock 
on mouse and key and he admitted that he used that he had them walls also but he had a pretty uh, sus uh, aim lock you could see the video on youtube that it's about one uh, famous tiktoker and he admitted that and then uh, you should see in that video some example of that aim lock and uh, what happens when the enemy gets knocked maybe i will put some examples here so I, as we can see this is not natural for a mouse and keyboard player this is too mechanical and we will see the comparison here with the other players top players okay and we will see the re human reaction uh, time the co human correction the human error uh, the uh, natural accuracy during the fights and of course missing the player when the player is uh, in front of us or sliding in front of us or blocking our camera so you will see some of the moments that uh, a normal a top high skill mouse and keyboard player in this game needs to predict the enemy because you cannot make um, like a perfect predictions of what enemy will do and how he will move that's why we are losing um like the the close fights from us and keyboard because we are not we cannot predict let's put a summary here okay so we have a rotation aim assist kind of kind of rotation aim assist okay very little human error during the fights in human reactions because in some fights you 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 could see like no human reaction time lower body to neck correction of the aim slightly after we ping life ping the guy so we are pressing some button perfect tracking of unpredictable movement of the enemy aim tremor as soon as we get the knock on the enemy or as soon as we kill the enemy and some of strange moments of our aim when we are shooting one enemy and we're having another enemy in in front of our crosshair so there's something always happens like or uh, the aim is moving like this or the, the aim is stopping or the aim is like moving in another uh, direction from some uh frames i think you will see you saw enough of his clips let's go and like make a little comparison with other top players and maybe you will see the difference there let's pick some random clips okay so let's compare the things that you saw before of our player um let's compare with some uh, some of these high skilled players uh, in warzone from us and key for example strafe this one is strafe and uh, as soon as you see here in this kinds of a fight okay he doesn't have that correction of the top body okay uh this is normal to shoot like like this okay this is normal aim this is high skill aim accurate but not sticky you know have like a rotational kind of uh, of fights uh rotation aim is kind you know have like a sticky sticky aim in the um, on the neck on the upper body of course we just have a um slow correction of the aim we correcting our aim but still we we managed to get a good kills we managed to have a good kills okay this one is blue for example this is another machine key player uh i just pick up some random clips of their highlights from youtube okay like you see how he does like two or three corrections here on the enemy and this is normal like this is normal you're not having a sticky aim on the upper body of the enemy of course and um the moments like this when when you're losing the enemy a bit then losing again then losing again then losing again then you shoot it pretty pretty good this one is normal like corrections two or three corrections are normal during the fight okay and the aim is not sticky on some of the part of the the body of course on the enemy yeah this is so this is like a smooth aiming fluid aiming okay it's nothing sticky nothing like uh, nothing happens after we knock the guy um so it's pretty smooth like even here okay 
uh, Huskers in this uh, clip is correcting his aim, but he's not correcting to the neck, to the upper body, even if it's the right thing to do, okay? But we are humans, we cannot react in those moments like this. For us in this moment, like a stress moment like this, it's easier to aim to the bigger part, part of the body, okay? So you have more chance to give damage here than try to headshot the guy, okay? So this is natural. Even here, you see? This is pretty easy target to track, of course, okay? But you need direction time. You need to understand the speed of the enemy. Okay, the enemy starts moving. Okay, we need we are still still back with our aim. Okay, we need time to react. We are reacting, but we didn't guess, we didn't predict the, the velocity here, for example. So we need to readjust again. Okay, so the enemy just dies, okay, because time to kill is pretty uh pretty low here. But as you can see here, for example, Haskers is a human because he has uh human errors he needs a reaction time he's very high skilled as a player his aim is insane but still we are humans okay so we cannot be perfect in every clip uh, or uh, in 80 uh, percent of 90 percent of the fights okay even here Batman, for example he has a aim pretty good aim he's not shooting at the top body of the enemy because that's how you play some of uh, the fights you have a top uh, top aim, some of the fights not, but you cannot track like perfectly like we saw. Like this, this moment is pretty, pretty the same as we saw some of the fights uh, on the first April that we, we saw. Okay, so Bradman has an insane aim, but still, we have fights like this, and this is normal. Even here, this target is pretty easy to track. But you are a human, you need to predict where the enemy will go. In this case, we see the enemy moving from this side. I don't know how to show it, like, like this maybe. Okay. So, so Bradman when starts to shoot this guy, he has the aim on this side. Because the enemy is like slightly moving to the left, like slightly, slightly moving to the left, right? Like here, okay, he drops the... The, the parachute and he slightly moves to our left so he has his aim already on the left because he predicted that but then we will go on the left and he waits with the his aim our brain is waiting with the aim here because the enemy looks like he's going to the left side but the enemy went straight or maybe more to the our right because maybe he just presses the the left button after he cut the parachute okay so this is natural okay you're not locking in on the top here you're not correcting the aim on the top here you're correcting on the bottom because the enemy is dropping down okay not like in our case of our a player that we saw before that is like in these situations is capable to not missing a shot and just to pick the top body the neck in this situation it's very hard to do it i can put an example from mine gameplay here so you can see the difference too so let's see okay so i even call this clip free aimbot because some of the clips like this kill here it's like an aimbot it's pretty pretty lockable okay i locked that guy because i just predicted well the speed of him dropping down okay because it's just straight down it's easy to predict it's just like from top to bottom you know this this one is easy to do actually but still, we, we need to track the guy and the next one, we're just missing some shots because we need to predict where the guy will go, okay? We're shooting a bit down, then we go up to the aim and then we just predict his speed, okay? We need some correction, we need some reaction time to do so. That's what's uh, unhuman for the aim is because there's zero delay and it just does what it does, you know? So even here with this guy that I track, okay? So you, you can see the corrections and where the correction goes and what I try to predict, okay? Even this guy is very easy to, to track, but still his movement is not linear, you know? My correction is linear. 
is not moving linear. Okay, so what we saw from uh, the guy before that we saw a lot of uh, the clips and from uh, some comparison and examples that that guy that we saw before doesn't have a linear correction like like in this case like this 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 like this you know he has like a, a perfect correction like for example our player had like if the enemy moves like this our player is start starts to lock here and he's not correcting like this his aim okay to track the enemy and then maybe to predict the enemy already and then to take the enemy down okay he, he manages to track him like this perfectly okay not linear another detail that i would like to talk about is like accuracy human accuracy versus uh, controller accuracy here we have a statistics of uh, halo game of top 100 uh, controller players accuracy so we have like a 50 55 60 percent accuracy okay and top 100 keyboard and mouse players that we have like a medium of 48 49 47 accuracy percentage okay and then we have all the other stats like like a medium player of a controller has a 46 percent of accuracy okay so this one is like a normal thing of course control is always stronger than the the aim uh, of uh, um, keyboard and mouse players because we need the reaction time we need a, a linear correction of the aim we need a prediction of the enemy moving okay so that stuff is uh, stopping us to have a like a high accuracy games okay we can have high accuracy games but we cannot have like high accuracy for a lot of fights in a row okay in a controller you can have that you can have like a 60 70 i think in warzone you can have a, like a 65 70 percent okay with uh with a gamepad when you have a bot lobby and just running around on the on the enemy but as we see here the important thing to see it's 50 50% is a top tier of a top 100 keyboard and mouse players, okay? That's the thing that we saw on his Kovac. That's our player and that's his Kovac. That, like, this is normal. Like, uh, if you see the accuracy in the top left uh, corner, it's like 50 now, maybe 56 in some cases, maybe 50, 54, you see here on the, on the left side. As we saw in Kovac, okay, this is not our player. This is uh, his accuracy in a game that's uh, even easier than Warzone because in uh, Warzone you have a lower visibility, you have a weapon recoil, you have a recoil, you are moving. In this case, we are not moving. The enemy is perfectly visible. So as we can see in the left corner, this is our player. He has like a 50% here, maybe somewhere somewhere 60 somewhere 55 56 okay so this is not all this is natural okay so but the things that we saw on his gameplay on the clips from warzone i think it's a bit off i think it's uh slightly unhuman maybe uh, i think it's a bit uh, something sus i don't know what do you think let me know in the comments and maybe we will reveal who that player is in the next video so let me know what do you think about all these things in the comments if you liked my analysis and you want more use the link in the descriptions and uh, just give me some uh, clips of the streamers that you think that cheat or uh, that uses something or maybe they, they are sus so we will do that in the format that we always do called cheatbusters that we just comment and analyze the gameplay and we see if someone is using something or not from my experience so if you like the analysis hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and i will upload another videos in english in this channel thanks thanks for watching